YMCA is in the works in Botetourt County. Members of the Roanoke Valley YMCA announced today they've raised $7.1 million through private funding. They still need about $3 million before ground can be broken. As WSLS 10's Duke Carter explains, the facility will fill a big need. We are officially kicking off the public phase of the Botetourt Family YMCA campaign. Leaders in Botetourt County announced their plans for a new YMCA. This is a project that's been in the, in the thinking and planning and study stage, I guess, for almost four years now. Leaders say they have just raised over $7 million and are asking the community support to come up with the remaining $3 million. The new YMCA is a project leaders say is vital to the community. The two-story building will have a fitness center, gym, a lobby, and gathering places, as well as a swimming pool. It will also be located in the Daleville Town Center, an area where leaders say they're seeing growth. To have a place that really um, focuses on bringing the community together, giving programming and opportunities for families and kids, just felt like it would, be, it would really be a big part about uh, kind of helping create a core. Leaders say one advantage of having the YMCA in Botetourt County is swim teams at local high schools will have a place to practice. The facility will also house an eight-lane lap pool. We are so excited to have this uh, state-of-the-art aquatics facility here. Ashley Pratt is the head coach of the James River swim team. She says her students currently practice at Holland University, which makes practices difficult. We're having to work around their swim team schedule and trying to find time. The kids have to travel, so they're having to carpool. They're having to really you know, add an extra hour. I'm pretty excited about this project. But before they can break ground, before money is raised, leaders still say the new YMCA will be an asset in the community. So it's going to be one of the great growth periods in Botetourt. YMCA leaders say they hope to break ground in 2017 and hope the doors can be open to the public in early 2018 in Botetourt County. Duke Carter, WSLS 10.